how to create an apple developer account for free yes it's free hmm. hey everyone welcome back to coding expert if you're looking to create an apple developer account for free you've come to the right place whether you're a beginner learning ios development or want to test your apps on a real device this step by step guide will help you get started let's dive in step 1 visit the apple developer website first open your browser and go to the official apple developer website at developer.apple.com this is where apple provides tools documentation and resources for developers here you can register as a developer and access essential tools like xcode and test flight step 2 sign in with your apple id id next click on account in the top right corner you'll need an apple id to proceed if you already have one simply sign in if not click on create your apple id and follow the steps to set up a new account make sure to use a valid email address and enable two factor authentication for security first name last name select country enter date of birth enter email address this will be your new apple id enter password enter confirm passwords select country code enter your mobile number verify your number by text message or phone call if you want to receive announcements keep it selected since i don't want announcements i have unchecked it enter captcha then click on continue button oops wrong captcha let's try again click on continue button verify your email address to create your new apple id an email with verification code has been sent to your email address enter that verification code here click on continue button verify your phone number to finish setting up your apple id enter verification code here then click on continue button step 3 accept the apple developer agreement once you're signed in apple will ask you to review and accept the apple developer agreement carefully read through the terms check the agreement box and click submit This step officially registers you as a free developer allowing you to access Apple's development tools. Step 4 Enable developer mode on your iPhone optional but recommended. To test apps on your iPhone you need to enable developer mode. To enable developer mode on your iPhone you'll need to follow these steps. Step 1 Open the settings app. Locate the settings app on your iPhone's home screen. It looks like a gear icon. Step 2, navigate to privacy and security. Scroll down the settings menu and tap on privacy and security. Step 3, navigate to developer mode. Scroll down the privacy and security menu and turn on a developer mode. Please note that enabling developer mode grants access to additional settings and features primarily intended for developers. Be cautious while making changes in developer mode as some options can affect the functionality and stability of your device. Step 5 Download and set up Xcode. To start building apps, you need Xcode, Apple's official development environment. Here, here's how to install and set it up. Open the Mac App Store and search for Xcode. Click download and wait for the installation to complete. It may take some time. 
as Xcode is a large file. Once installed, open Xcode and go to Xcode Preferences Accounts. Click the plus plus button. Choose Apple ID and sign in with your registered Apple ID. Now your Xcode is set up and you can start creating and testing iOS apps. Step 6. Run and test your apps on a real device. To test your app on a real iPhone, connect your iPhone to your Mac using a USB cable. In Xcode, open your project or create a new one. Click on the device selector at the top and choose your connected iPhone. Click the run button to build and install the app on your device. You may see a message about signing your app. Don't worry, Xcode will automatically use your free Apple developer account to create a provisioning profile. After a few seconds, your app will launch on your iPhone. And that's it. You now have a free Apple developer account and can start developing and testing iOS apps on your devices. While the free account has some limitations, such as no access to App Store distribution, it's perfect for learning and testing. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more iOS development tips and tricks. Have questions? Drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. See you in the next video. Thank you.